Hi, Harvard. Welcome back to our bi-weekly announcements, sharing to you, with you some of the news and things going on at Harvard. The first thing I want to share with you is just talking as a reminder about wearing masks and bringing masks to school. We've seen a large uptick in our students either trying to get on the bus or come to school without a mask. And we realize sometimes you forget or it gets dirty or broken, things like that. But we're now seeing uh, people forget entirely or expect us to provide the mask. Although we do have an ample supply of masks, we want you to remember that part of our uh, be respectful, be responsible, be safe in this environment would be trying to remember your mask. So try to check your student when they leave for school that they have one tucked away in their bag or even maybe a backup somewhere in there. So when they come to school, they have their mask on and are all ready to go. That's just part of uh, our new normal, as it were, making sure masks are part of our everyday uh, way kids attend school, part of our uh, uniform almost. Another bit of good news that we want to share with you is about the our ever never-ending search for substitute teachers. Last week, our Board of Education adopted new rates for substitute teachers, making us the highest paid daily rate and long-term rate for substitute teachers. So if you know of anyone or you yourself are looking for a flexible hours and good paying job in our school district, we'd love to have you consider being a substitute. In order to become a substitute, there is a process and an application all you need really is your bachelor's degree and we can help you with that. Allison Nordgaard in our HR office would be glad to help you or you can go to our website backslash careers and find all the information you need. It's a great job and really helps us. We know in these times substitute teaching is a real asset to our school district. In addition, there are jobs with Durham Transportation, with Airmark, as well as many other jobs in our district. We are about 15 to 20 jobs short in the district right now. So remember, our school district is one of the largest employers actually in the entire community. So we'd love to have you come work for us. It's a great place to work with a lot of great benefits. For the next few weeks in these video messages, I also want to tell you a little bit more about our district. One thing I hope you know about us is that we're always hoping to improve and get better. We have very ambitious goals set for ourselves. Those goals that we internally refer to as our BHAGs, our big, hairy, audacious goals, are things that are really these really audacious and really uh, aspirational goals, things that we think we can accomplish in the future, but they are really grand goals. They really are gonna take a lot of work on part of the district. And I wanna talk about one of those today. And in the upcoming messages, we'll share more about our district BHAG so you can be familiar with the things we're doing. But the one I wanna to talk to you today is why I'm wearing my Boise State sweatshirt. Uh, you might notice uh, when you uh, hear and see our teachers on Wednesday that a lot of our staff wears college gear and it's part of our avid mindset. Our mindset is that we want to prepare all of our students, whether they choose to or not, to be ready to go to college. AVID is a preparation program that allows all of our students to understand that there's great things in the future for them. We really want them to know whatever your mind can uh, dream of, we can help you achieve it. Did you know we had a student go to an Ivy League college la uh, this last year? She graduated, came up through Harvard, is going to an Ivy League college. That's the kind of thing that our students need to know that you're capable of here in Harvard. You can have an incredible education that launches you into whatever life you want. And part of the way we do that is AVID. It really sets the sights on our future. All students go through things like college exploration and learning about all the opportunities in the trades and all the things that are available for our students. Our job is to get them as ready as possible for the future. So on Wednesday, support us, wear your college gear, show your pride for your colors, your favorite team, and support our AVID program, which is a big part of our district. Speaking of helping our students, our high school student services department will be holding FAFSA nights for our students on October 19th and October 28th at 6 p.m. in our commons at the high school. Be sure to connect with your student services counselor for more information about all the opportunities available. We want our high school students to know and feel prepared for all of the college and career options after high school. Recently, Student Services held an information session for all parents, and you can find those resources on our website at www.cusd50.org backslash student services. And finally, parents and community members, a message of gratitude. We wanna thank everyone for all the time and patience and understanding as we've started this new school year. There's been a lot for us to learn in terms of the health and safety mitigations, wearing your mask, all the new rules we have to follow, and we've done it as best we can to keep everyone safe. I want to also encourage you, if you ever have questions about anything that's going on regarding health or safety, don't be afraid to reach out. 
go directly to the teacher, go directly to the principal, directly to me, however we can help you. That's our job, is to make you understand exactly what's going on in our schools. And so if there are questions, don't ever hesitate to reach out and let us help you understand exactly what's going on with the education of your child. Thanks for your partnership. Let's have another great week.